with what you went through, the support system that you needed, were you disappointed that certain people weren't there for you in the way that you needed them to be? I was beyond disappointed. I was absolutely devastated. Because when I went through it, in 100% with 100% honesty, I did every bit of it alone. Absolutely alone. And now as I'm telling these stories and I've come forth with a lot of the things that have happened to me, I don't tell them. I haven't told them what I'm doing because I know I cannot expect their, their support or their, I can't expect them to be happy for me. And um, if they find out that I'm, I'm becoming more public with, with things I've gone through and trying to create a platform to help other people, then they'll find out on their own. It's not gonna be because of me. Um, I don't trust them. How does that make you feel? It's disheartening. And, um, but you know, it, it honestly is something that I should have figured out a long time ago because looking back, I was speaking to a really dear friend of mine last night who has been present for a lot of the things I've gone through in my life. And, um, and she made it very clear to me. She's like, I mean, what else did you expect? You know, your mother has never had your back or, or been on your side or, or really lifted you up when you needed her. I watched it. And, and this is, this is a small thing in my life. This stuff that I'm talking to you about now, this is very, very small part of my story. And, um, well, yeah, it's devastating, but I think it's, you know, it's not surprising. But, you know, it's really empowering to know that now that I'm, I'm reaching the other side of it, that, that I did this. You know, however minuscule it might look to some people, I know what it took. I know how hard I fought for my life and for my for my success. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm building and I'm proud. I'm so proud of myself. Looking back, Amanda, on all of that, especially everything you just said, looking back, how proud are you of yourself to be able to pull yourself through that situation, um, share your story with others, and still find a way to smile every day how proud of you how proud are you of yourself there there just are no words you know i've i have always been the person to to force a smile and and force my like my stuff down and push it all down because i never wanted anyone to feel uncomfortable i never wanted people to hurt because i was hurting I didn't want to bring them down. So I can honestly say that my smiles now are genuine. Like I feel free and I feel, I'm elated. I'm, I'm elated. I'm so proud of where I am today. There are obviously things that I need to still improve upon and I want to see certain relationships be restored, but it's all going to come in time. I'm learning how to focus on me and how to love myself genuinely like really love myself and not accept anything less than what I would want for my daughter or my sister or my mother. You know, I'm, I'm just as worthy and I have so much to offer. And even if I'm just giving it to me, at least I know I'm giving it to someone who appreciates it. Self-love is the best form of self-care. I've always said that. <laughs> <laughs> 